Minnesota Zoo currently maintains two male pronghorn and six female pronghorn. Eyesight in pronghorn is probably their strongest sense, more so than hearing or smell. They are a very sight-oriented animal. They live out on the plains and they prefer areas without trees so that sight is unobstructed. And they probably see probably about eight times better than we do. Pronghorn, sometimes called antelope, even though they're not a true antelope species, are named for their horns, which are unique in that they do have something called a prong on them, which animals with horns typically do not have branches on their horns. And they're different from antlers in that respect too. Most horns, like I said, don't have branches. Antlers do. But antlers also are composed of bone. Horns are keratin sheaths. Keratin is the stuff that comprises our hair and our fingernails and the animal's hooves. And you can see horns are also hollow. There is a bony core underneath this horn, but another unique thing about pronghorn is that uh, these fall off every year, like antlers fall off, but animals with horns typically do not shed their horns. Pronghorn are the only animal that has a horn that's routinely shed and that branches. Females are typically hornless, or if they do have horns, they're very small. 